Welcome! Today I'm going to show you how I make this beautiful root beer calcite. From this ugly rock. I'm glad you stayed. If you're new here, my name is Chirsten Safford and my channel is all about rocks. Please share this video with anyone you know who loves rocks. Crush that subscribe button and later on head over to my Facebook group and check out the giveaway, photos, and more videos. The link will be in the description or comments. Right now we are going to turn this ugly rock into a beautiful piece of art. So the very first thing we will be using is the wet tile saw. And what I would like to do is try and keep this about the same. I don't want to lose too much. So kind of like peeling a potato. I just want to take the outer skin off. So with that being said, let's get rolling. Okay, so we're going to use the wet tile saw here that has been in many of my previous videos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to skin this, skin this rock. And I'm going to use the sides, the kerf of the blade, and, um, and then from there, I'm probably going to round out the edges just a little bit and make it a little easier to polish with the Dremel hand tool. I already checked my water levels and made sure it was full and ready to capacity. I have got my face mask. I have my face mask on, so I won't be doing a lot of talking for this part. Okay, so now we are at my Dremel station and you can see that I have gone ahead and rounded off all the edges. Hopefully made it nice so that it will be easier to smooth up with the Dremel flex shaft with the easy release diamond blade, diamond grit blade. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and go in little circles over the whole entire thing here. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is um, taken this back over to the uh, wet tile saw and rounded out the edges and got it shaped there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the Dremel with the flex shaft and the diamond bit, just like we did before, and go around the whole thing. After that, I'm going to show you how to polish it with acid. 
So just a little bit about this. This is called a root beer banded onyx. It's a calcite. And I collected this at Pelican Point on the west side of Utah Lake. So how did I know that this ugly rock is going to turn out beautiful? Well, that's just simple. It's experience. I've worked with this stone before, so I knew what to look for with the banding and everything in the rough. So it's commonly referred to as root beer onyx, but it is not a true onyx. True onyx is black or black and white. Um, this is a brownish cream and sometimes yellow calcium carbonate. So the changes in color are created by slight changes in mineral composition of the groundwater during uh, precipitation. So it just means different minerals were in the groundwater when it rained and when this was forming. So calcite is a three, which means it is very, very soft on the Mohs hardness scale. Okay, I'm just gonna turn my water drip system on barely to a very faint drip. That's about right, about where I like it. It's gonna get loud, I'm gonna turn on the Dremel. I'm running it at about 3,500. All I'm doing is going around in little circles. Now this will not be a perfect stone because it has a lot of cracks and crevices in it, which is a natural occurrence from when it was formed. Also, this was a piece that was not underground when I found it. It was it was sitting on top of the ground and it had been set, uh, had some sun problems. It had been baked in the sun. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. See what's going on with my Dremel hair like acting weird. And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have gone ahead and polished it out, smoothed out all of the edges. You can really see the color coming through now. It's just a beautiful amber, brown, and cream color. And it's got just a little bit of yellow on the tip there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go and polish this with acid. Okay, so what I have here, this is a container that I got at the dollar store and it has a screw on lid. I've taken the rock and placed it in there and then filled it just above the rock with warm water. Uh, one of the things that you're gonna need to do when you're doing this is wear eye protection. Always add acid to water and wear rubber gloves. So, is what I found to work the best. This is Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner, 10 times the cleaning power. Um, this is a very, very dangerous product to have in your home. It is hydrochloric acid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour some in and you're gonna see, look at that. It is fizzing already. So the fizzing means that it's working, and by working, I mean it is melting the rock. So I wanna keep a close eye on this, and I'm only gonna leave it in here for a few minutes. Now, one of the ways you can dispose of this is to put it in your toilet and clean your toilet. That always watching it bubble here, and it smells like peppermint, it smells good. We have a good strong chemical reaction happening. Now what it is actually doing is taking all the microfine crystalline uh, particles of the rock and melting it together smooth. So when I take this out, 
we will be done polishing it. We won't need to do anything else to it. I did go over it very carefully and make sure that I got as much of the um, scratches and indentations left from the wet saw off of it. So this should be good to go in I want you to see that bubbling up. It's getting nice. So now you don't, depending on the size of the stone, you don't need to leave it in the water too very long. In fact, if you do leave it in the water too long, it will completely disintegrate into nothing. So I'm going to take it out now. I can always put it back in for longer, but this way I can test it and check it out. So all I'm going to do is take the water and dump it into the toilet bowl. Okay, now the next step is we are going to run it under warm water um, for three times the amount of time that we had. Um, get back. So we're going to run it under water for three times the amount of time that we had it in the chemical. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so it's totally dry and it does have a polished look to it, but as you can see on the back side here, there's still some spots where the marking from um, the Dremel, you know, grinding the rock down itself, it didn't get a chance to get polished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the water, warm water. I'm going to put some toilet bowl cleaner in there. Okay. And it's going to bubble. And I will leave it in there for five minutes. And then I will go through and rinse it off. And then we will see if it's done and ready to go. All right. Thanks for watching today. I'd love to know what you're working on struggling with or how I can help you because if you're successful, I'm successful. So go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I want you to know I love making these videos because I'm passionate about everyone who wants to, irregardless of finances, be able to enjoy the art of rock polishing and lapidary. I hope you subscribe and check out my Facebook page, Dremel Lapidary by Chirsten Safford Art, and be sure to check out the links I left below in the description. So it's turned out really good. Nice and waxy feel. Gorgeous. All right. Keep on grinding.